Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. Now, at the end of the last episode, we sent a telegram to Mycroft, and Mycroft let us know some information about the two Latin companies that are essentially feuding with each other. So that may pertain to the case. We need to go uh, talk to the cigar smoking man as well. Let's go ahead and look at our to-do list here. Solve the mystery, of course. Examine the side railway <laughs> railway branch at Evesham, um, or Evesham. Examine Doncaster Railway Station for suspicious details and clues. Find the man who is smoking cigars at Doncaster's waiting hall. So it looks like we have multiple stuff to do at Doncaster's. Let's go ahead and travel back to Evesham. And, uh... I guess go to that other... Well, we did go to that area. That was with the... The kind of shed or something that had been deconstructed. Let's see here. That's where it all began. Let's go ahead and hustle through. All the way through. It's leg day, Sherlock. Now, there's no area that's varied off there that wouldn't just take us to the map default because we'd gone too far. I guess they want us to go ahead and look in here again. Yeah, we've already looked at the remains of the building. I do notice that there's been... there's track that has been... Uh, taken away. Okay, this is what it... Multiple traces. Yes, wheel traces. Heavy vehicle traces. There we go. We just have to wait for the imagination to actually get all the traces taken care of. Let's take a closer look. More measurements, which we know how to do now, thankfully. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. Oh, okay. So it may have nothing to do with the mines. Okay, large truck with a base of around 6 feet 7. Alrighty. Trace at the lake are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck with a base of around 6 feet 7 inches. Interesting. Well, is that area cleared out now? Oh, nope. We still got other stuff here. We can find this road should lead to the town of Evesham. Alrighty. That would make sense. Can't go that way. Maybe there's something in here that we missed. Okay, let's use... Well, none of that. Never mind. Holmes, are we on the same track as the flooded quarry? Oh, that's actually a good... That's a good call, Watson. like we're missing something here we just need to find it oh well yeah maybe up here nada what is that strange device and anything here no Holmes 
Are we on the same track as the flooded quarry? I don't think there's anything else here on the track to find. Let's go ahead and... Let's go this way. Oh, nope, never mind. We need to figure out what we're missing here. Do we need to talk to the ooh, station manager again? It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station and that it was disassembled. Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. Why would anyone want to? Uh-huh. See you later, my good man. Okay, examine the rail branch was completed. And that definitely answered some questions. Now, let's head to Doncaster. It's like we've been to the beach, we've been to the mines. Let's see here. Rails to mines are missing. Stolen track. We've made that connection. Ooh. Well, what was that connection? The Mexicans held no grudge against the Chileans. Business is business after all. <laughs> I highly doubt that. That connection. And nothing so far. We've got a lot of pieces we're going to have to put together. Okay, so apparently there's still something here that we are missing at Donka. Oh, is that our cigar smoking gentleman? Excellent. Okay. Well, we will do that. We'll have a chat with him as soon as we double check that we've got everything here. Okay, warehouse. I think we made the rounds here earlier. Oh. Uh, Watson, would you like some tea? No. That's strange. Okay, that's the warehouse. Left luggage. Oh, we didn't go in here. Railway post bags. There wasn't a way on the other side. That's why we missed it. Oh, station master's bag. Now, this is the This post bag belongs to the station master. This is the gambler, right? A letter to wife. 7 Alpine Street, Bassford, Nottinghamshire. My darling, I ask you to trust me this time. I shall soon have more than enough money to repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house without me since that is your wish. Please know that I still care about you and hope that you will forgive me one day despite all of the harm I have caused in recent years. Yours, Edward. Ew. And a letter to lawyer. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. In reply to your last warning letter, I wish to assure you that I shall soon honor all of the latest installments that I need to pay according to my debts. Yours faithfully, Edward Duff. So he's about to come into some money. Let's have a chat. Hi there, Edward. You'll find nothing interesting here, I'm afraid. <laughs> you sure? I think I found something interesting. Uh, oh, that got cleared out. Find the man who was smoking cigars at Doncaster's waiting hall. Okay, before we do that, though... 
Doncaster Master... Station Master at Doncaster received money recently. He assured his lawyer and his ex-wife that he would be sending them money and bought horse racing tickets despite the fact he can ill afford them. Because he's a genius. The Doncaster Station Master reported by Telegraph the arrival and departure of the vanished train. Hold on, let's look at the map here real quick. Where's Doncaster at? Huh. Okay. So... If he said that... That's the... Oh, that leads right to uh, the lake. Okay. I think I may know what's going on here. First, though... We got a scene. Hola, amigo. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. Okay. Wrinkles. Smart clothes. Oh. Strong build. Expensive cigar. Oh, wait. Martial arts. Chile, but you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Burn note, insurance policy, Mexican cigars. Because of your cigars. See, si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. So he's basically, oh, I'm from Chile, because we all talk and look alike. At least that's the kind of vibe he's wanting to give out. I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. Buenas tardes. Gotcha. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. Yes, indeed. So... Solve the mystery of the vanished train. So I guess we have all the info that we need. Yeah, we got a nice cavalcade of characters. Let's see. Suspicious Mexican at Doncaster. Coal and the Chileans. Okay, we've got some work to do here. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that the Mexican company paid off the station master here at Doncaster to say that the train went through. I think they hijacked the train and then grabbed the prototype, probably killed the Chileans and dumped the train in the or in the lake. I think that makes the most sense. Or in the quarry and then flooded the quarry. Okay, the train never passed through Chesterfield Station. The station master was drunk and his testimony seems unreliable. He could have sent the report without witnessing the train. That's ahead of Doncaster. So we're going to say that he did. It did pass Chesterfield. The Chileans were left. Robinson's motive. I don't even think Robinson's really involved in this, to tell you the truth. 
Thanks to the insurance and multiple... Hmm. Robinson is a victim. The loss of the machine is a disaster for Robinson. Even though he planned this fraud, he's gone far more... Or he's lost far more than he could gain. The insurance will not cover the total cost of the prototype. Let's try that. No grudge. The Mexican's uh, business is business negative. The Mexican catacol company held a grudge against the Chilean Bacazas group, and the Chileans were favored for purchasing the WEA coal mines despite the Mexican's preliminary sales contract. And that made it... That maybe lit the spark. Oh. What we got here? The Mexican, Mexican trap. The Mexican organized the Chileans stay on the train. That is why the controller removed all the passengers except for the Chileans. That makes sense. Okay, now I passed Chesterfield. Let's got this one. Somebody stole the rails to temporarily cover the missing section of the old railway to the flooded quarry. Railway into the mines. I say quarry. And barges. Mexicans recently utilized barges at the lake. Yes. Concealment. The mines were collapsed to hide the train. Dynamite was used after the train was moved inside. I think that was just plain sabotage. The mines were collapsed with dynamite. Somebody wanted to close them intentionally. Could be sunk. The train... Let's see. <laughs> the train cannot be sunk in the flooded quarry because the old railway that leads there is missing some rails, which is not the case. It could have been sunk in the flooded quarry. Ooh. What we got here? Train has been sunk in the flooded quarry. Excellent. Pass Doncaster. The train passed through Doncaster Station. The station master reported it. The train never passed through Doncaster Station. The station master lied and sent a false report. Perhaps he was bribed with the money he desperately needed, which would also explain why, that, why the Mexican is there in the first place. Eh, ooh. We have made a... A connection. Mexicans drowned Chileans. It was carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train in a flooded quarry to hide their crime. Blind justice. The Mexicans' inhumanity toward the Chileans has cost many lives. We must act quickly. Contact with Strahd and allow the police to perform their loud and swift justice, even at the risk of international conflict. Political game. A criminal organization such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. Give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict, even though it might be proacted and turned to his own advantage. Oh, man. Um. What to do? Ooh. Quest I'd I'm not sure, guys. I'm going to have to think on this some. Um. I, I do believe that this is definitely the path that we need to take. It all makes sense to me. Blind justice, political game. So, do we go ahead and let Mycroft know about that, or do we hand it over to Lestrade? That's, that's the question. I'm not sure. <sighs> hmm... I'm going to go ahead and see what we can do. We're going to do the political game. We're going to hand it off to Mycroft. We're going to see see what happens. If we're dealing with like a cartel, hitting them just full out up front isn't going to do a whole lot of damage. We're just going to take out the flunkies, not the, the whole thing. You know what I mean? So, uh, sure. I don't have to like it, though. Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have the local constabulary and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. 
They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. Our other option is Brother Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble, but it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. But I think I'd prefer to give Mycroft a chance. We should overlook our personal differences on this occasion. Let us go home, then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. No, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Watson, we know that the Barcazas Company directors were drowned in the flooded quarry, along with the train and Robinson's prototype. But we still need to corner the guilty party. But how do you intend to prove... Oh, no. Please don't tell me we have to dive into the lake. Huh. <laughs> you may rest assured that I have a far better idea. We have only to use our corrupt Doncaster Station Master as bait. He will unwittingly trap our Mexican friend. Of course, you already had a plan. I shall follow you, Holmes. So how's this well, going to play out? Well, the case out? is solved, and we shall be heading home. And may we have two tickets to London, please? Right away. Wait, wait a minute. You've solved the case. In a manner of speaking, can you believe that the rescue service miraculously saved one of the Chileans who were on board the train? The police have ordered his immediate escort to London on the next train. He, he pulled through, then? He's alive? Yes, by extreme good fortune. His condition is quite serious, and the method of transportation has its risk, but he will be held securely by the doctor and police officers. The gentleman carries some vital information on this case. I am sure of it. Ah, really? Your station will be famous, Mr. Duff. The journalist will be here before you know it. Goodbye, sir. Good goodbye, gentlemen. We got him. Some time later. Oh, Lord. Closing up loose ends. Choo choo. Gentlemen, you are under arrest. Caramba! You traitor! You double crossed me! Oh, what do I do? Uh. Ah, uh, I didn't know what to do. Okay, hold up. Oh, he shot Holmes. <laughs> I was pressing the, the bumpers. Let's try that again. I did it again. Okay, we're just going to do that again. Uno mas. There we go. Thank you, Watson. Child's play and sharpshooter. Yeah, child's Good play. Good shot, Watson. I always knew you were a talented marksman. I didn't want another life lost in this case, Holmes. Oh my god! I thought I was a dead man. You shouldn't be so glad about it. You'll be up before the judge. Your testimony will be of great importance to the investigation. I would remind you that your cooperation will be the best way to ease your sentence. By the way, Watson, would you be so kind as to give me some shooting lessons later on? <coughs> yes, but not in our sitting room and not with you wearing a blindfold. <laughs> I've been playing so many of the Telltale games lately, I always use the um, bumpers on the controller for any of the quick time events, so... Okay, well, the good news is, is we got it taken care of. It was carefully planned murder. The Mexicans killed the Chileans and sank the train to hide their crime. The dam breach was played to their advantage. They used their own barges to keep the train on the run for a few seconds and then sank it in the flooded quarry. The railway tracks were removed to hide the crime. A criminal organization such as this cannot be confronted directly. It requires a delicate approach. The decision was made to give Mycroft the chance to resolve the conflict. Okay. Well, I will go ahead and accept that decision. The one where Watson actually shoots the gun. And you save files for this, Clay? Yes, indeed. 
I think we'll be we're in good shape here. Actually, I think I think now would actually be a good time to go ahead and end the um, episode, guys. We've just finished that case, and we're going to be moving on to a new one. So uh, we will pick it up next time. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.